All right, so welcome. Today, Reed Welch is, Reed Welch is working on my piano. And you can see he has it taken apart and he has quite a bit of equipment here. Yeah. And I'm so excited and happy to have him working and, and maybe uh, Reed. What we're gonna do, first to see the dust and dirt down here, we're gonna clean that up, but we're gonna renovate the key bushing so there won't be any shake. And we're gonna renovate the hammer so it'll have a nice warm, rich tone. Because right now the piano, when I came here today, sounded like a calliope. <laughs> I mean, you hit a key and it's loud. It just has one dynamic level because the hammers are worn and, and hard. So we're gonna renovate the hammers as well as we can. Even though the hammers are a little worn out, I think we can get some tone out of them. And uh, I'll be painting the piano and then I'll do tuning. I think and the hammers are a little bit more than just a well, little worn out. Right well, they there. can always be replaced, but it's an expensive job. The reason they're all like this right now is because I had them, the keys raised up so I could treat the bushings. So uh, when I pull the, this rod out, the keys will go back down. So I just finished treating the center row bushings. Now I'm going to treat the front rows by turning the oval pins. This is a standard technique. They're shaped, shaped like little cricket bats. So when the, there's too much shake in a key, I can't get that out because of the rail, uh, you turn the pin slightly and that takes up the slack. Does that make sense? Yes. And then you get the key to where it doesn't have any side shake at all. And this lubrication is put in the key bushings, a, a dry Teflon, a liquid Teflon that dries and leaves a film. And so they'll glide like butter up and down with no friction. That means you can voice chords. And when the piano is regular and they let off as close to the string, you can voice chords. You can play keys as slowly as possible and you'll still get a little tone. You'll have complete dynamic range control. I'm so excited about this. So you know, any grand piano can be regulated like this, but none of them are. What have you the done with the? Can you explain what you've done with the these bushings, these red little? Oh well, here? I, this is a secret technique. Oh, a secret. No, okay. it's 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 an inexpensive way I invented. I, I don't know if anybody else does it. I'm putting a, a, a glue solution with Teflon powder in it to swell the dents out of the cloth. They get dented from the little pin. I can't show you the pin because okay. it can't be seen, but it's down in there. Uh, the pen goes through the bushing, and it, it, it's just a guide for the for the key. Okay. And when it gets worn, the key gets a shake like this. Now I'm gonna have to dry these with the hair dryer because they're wet right now, and then then there won't be any shake there. And now I'm gonna be working for an hour to, to adjust these. Okay. And we'll be able to try this. We can actually the see the pins down underneath here, right? Yeah. You can see the front rail pins. Mm -hmm. The front row uh -huh. pins are here let's, and the green, and then the other ones are way back there underneath. Yeah, hold, yeah, hold, let's see, keep, keep that running, but let's see if I okay. can find a, I have a tool for turning pins, and I'll show you how it works. Now, I guess this looks pretty complicated, all these little parts, but I, I think in the upright there's even more, right? In an upright? And a spinet? Are there more parts? Because no, this is a grand piano is more complicated. More uh, complicated. Here's, here's my little tool. Okay, this is for turning the oval pins. Okay. For instance, uh, oh. I better put on glasses because I can't. <laughs> okay. I, can't, I can't focus without them. Okay, so now, I, so here, for instance, watch this. I'll be turning it just a little bit. Now, as I turn it, you see. It would take up the slack if there's slack okay. in the bushing there. There's a mortise there, li like this, with red cloth. Right. And I'll turn it just enough to where there's no shake, but it doesn't bind. Okay. And, so, ten, and ten years from now, if it's loose minute. again, it's, if it's compressed, then we just turn the pins the other okay, way. Okay, I see. So underneath here, there's this little red felt. Yeah. And then you'll somehow, mm -hmm. I don't know, how do you know how much to turn this thing? Oh, by feel. Okay. I can't let this down right now because these aren't dry yet. But, okay. but when it's down, I can turn, the, turn these and, and feel the key oh, and see. adjust it to where it glides perfectly but okay. without friction. This is now, really, and then, yeah. then, like I say, in years from now, if it's loose again, which it won't be, you right. can turn the pen a little more. Okay. And then you can turn it the other way. So there's no reason to rebush keys just because they have a little shake. This is completely amazing, of course. <laughs> is it? All right, yeah, it is. I, I look forward well, to it. It's awfully nice to meet you. This is my first work session here. Yeah, the very I first know. one. And I have to admit, I did make a little recording of the piano, how horrible it sounded before. So we'll, we'll hear the piano in stages as we go oh, on. Oh, great. We'll hear it before and after. Yeah, I'll just play the same little ditty that I played each time. Oh, super. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, so thanks. thanks very much, Reed. And we'll have more conversations soon, I'm thanks, sure. Alan. Okay. My pleasure.